Do you think it's time for us to share with them exactly what we are offering? Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. Okay, yes. So, hey, y'all. <laughs> you are being formally invited to a universal womb ceremony. Mm -hmm. And the intention here, y'all, is for us to take on the opportunity to explore touch with sacred sacrament, with or without, mm -hmm. um, with the intention of clearing and exploring pleasure in this sacred space. So this container is going to be one that explores what um, mutual understanding and respect around bodies looks like and what touch looks like and pleasurable touch um, looks like. And so those are the things that are um, normally, I've not never really seen an opportunity for um, people in the community like this in such high levels of awareness around their spirituality come together and understand the exploration of their own sexual energy and what that could look like for, you know, their facilitating. Yeah. Um, and this is a part of us tearing down um, and dissolving these, um, these old paradigms. Yeah, exactly. This, the spaces that we have curated in the past um, especially when it comes to, um, you know, the sacredness and spiritual aspects, um, often tend to kind of push away like the greatest resource that we actually have, right? Our sexuality, our sexual energy and our, the intimacy that it creates where, you know, our peers might actually shame us for, you know, em embodying our sexual energies in our facilitations. But um, it's so, so very important in order to be um, this vessel and receptive pillar for divine spirit to come through, to be strong and solid in that energy so that you can actually hold space for people. Yeah, and, and any hindrance, any any pushback, any pushback that we hold in our bodies around any of this, it, it impedes upon our sovereign knowing of ourselves. So, so we will have offerings around gender, around uh, consent, around sexual energy in the body every single week so that we can prepare not just our minds for the shift or the break of the pattern, but also uh, we're going to have body preparation exercises that allow for our nervous systems to also be prepared before we arrive December 28th in New York. Mm -hmm. So this very special invitation is a call. It is a call, it is an initiation. It is, it is a requirement for this shifting of this paradigm. Mm. And this is the opportunity for us to have this grand release together. Mm. Mm -hmm. The grand release, release of oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, um, serotonin, <laughs> um, ga ga GABA, um, the stuff that keeps you young. Um, we're talking about evoking your alpha, your theta, um, mm -hmm. uh, brain waves, and that in itself connects us to the heartbeat of the planet. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. So in this universal womb conversation, when we allow ourselves to open up, when we allow ourselves to shed, mm -hmm. we tap into the heartbeat of the planet. And the heartbeat of the planet is the flow of universal womb. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. So this is Ooh. all direct. This is all direct. So this is the opportunity. And we invite, this is not an egoic conversation. This was a download. This was a call. And we are being obedient in being of service to it. So if you feel that this call is also for you, whether you are only in attendance and only as in singularly, as in justly, mm -hmm. or if you find that you would like to be a part of the co-creation of this because there's an offering that you have that you wish to bring forth, then please do so. Mm -hmm. We invite you. Some of the people, Nikki, who we've invited really are, you know, um, the movers and, and shakers in the, in the field of um, spirituality, the medicine people, the people who are facilitating ceremony, sacred ceremonies um, around the country, really around the world. And, um, but they're also ready to kind of dissolve the old paradigms of what we um, ha have traditionally been, you know, told is the way to be a facilitator, the way to be a space holder. And so I know um, that the curated you know, group of folks that we're inviting are people that we personally believe are ready to, you know, start to address these pieces around that, um, that sacred, sexual, and sensual experiencing, and how it can deepen intimacy within these spaces. Indeed. 